of difference. And certainly they both seem to share Mitt Romney and President Obama the same ideological framework. They really did. I think they kept saying, we agree. And by the way, I'm Patty Calhay, Shia Bratansi. <laughs> We're going to be with you for a little bit, just dissecting what you saw. This was their ch last chance to make that closing argument to the American public. I think you saw that when they kept shifting to domestic issues. This was supposed to be a bit debate about foreign policy. But more often than not, we heard how often they agreed when it came to the issues of foreign policy. For example, on drones, on Egypt, on Iran, calling it a danger. One thing not mentioned, Palestine. Meanwhile, Alan Fisher now joins us from the spin room. As you can imagine, both uh, representatives of Mitt Romney and Barack Obama will now be spinning. First up for us, then, I believe, a Romney representative, Alan. Well, if you look behind me, you can see just how the campaigns have swamped the floor trying to get their message across. Joining me live now here is Kyron Skinner, who's the director of the Carnegie Mellon University Center for International Relations and a Romney supporter. Uh, is there any difference between the men? Because I heard Mitt Romney say a lot tonight, I agree with the president, I support the president, I think the president's done the right thing. Well, that was, appears to have been the strategy of President Barack Obama, to make it look as if Governor Romney, in fact, is just agreeing with his positions across the board and has none of his own. But I actually think the president didn't do so well in trying to make that case. When the governor said, I agree with you, it was often on a kind of broad approach. But when he began to talk in more specifics, the stark differences became quite apparent. Well, what specifics? Let's take Iran, for example. He said, I would like sanctions with the threat of military action. That's exactly what Barack Obama says. Where's the difference? Well, in terms of really making those sanctions work, one, but defining the relationship with Israel and being much more resolute on the role that Israel plays in U.S. foreign policy and its centrality to U.S. interest in the broader Middle East. I think that that's a fundamental difference. And then his, he continually um, returned to the issue of l political leadership. The subject of his um, foreign policy address at Virginia Military Institute, you hear it again and again throughout this debate, the notion that the United States is not more respected and liked in the world by a whole host of measures, um, as President Barack Obama promised in the 2008 campaign. That's a fundamental difference right there. Well, let's talk about Israel, because Mitt Romney says he, there would be no daylight between him and Israel, yet he wants to speak to moderate leaders in the Middle East. Now, if you want to speak to moderate leaders in the Middle East and get peace deal in Palestine, there's got to be some distance between you and Israel. Otherwise, what's the point of the U.S. being involved in that? No, I don't know um, any major Israeli figure with whom we're interacting with now who says that we, the United States, should never speak to moderates in the Middle East. It's been an absence of U.S. policy in the Middle East trying to figure out exactly what it is. Perhaps, that has you, sorry, perhaps you misunderstood my point. Mitt Romney says no daylight between Israel. If there's